Hello there, uh, welcome to this video. Uh, my name is Dr. Vahid Arya Dust, and I'm going to demonstrate how to do a paired sample t-test uh, using SPSS. A paired sample t-test is also known as dependent sample t-test. It's actually a kind of uh, analysis uh, that sh uh, is, is run to determine the mean differences between two sets of measures. Um, in other words, you need to have two performances from one group, and that's something that we need to stress. Yeah, from one group on two different tasks on our, or or on two different occasions. Um, paired sample t tests are really easy to to carry out and report. Uh, uh, there are three examples here. If, for example, if you're an English teacher and uh, you're interested to find out whether your students make any progress in their listening ability uh, over the course of a few weeks or a few months. Uh, you could uh, give them a pre-test and a post-test uh, after and before and after they enter a language program. Or if you're interested to find out uh, if there is a specific test method effect. For example, you want to find out whether multiple choice questions are easier or more difficult than open-ended questions for your students. Uh, you can administer both kind of items to uh, you know your students and figure out whether whether there is a difference. Or the second example here is that you wish to investigate the effect of explicit teaching of grammar on the reading skills of your students. So you give a pretest and a post-test at the end of the intervention and you find out whether there is a significant difference. Um, of course, I currently do not have any data to, to uh, evaluate these hypotheses or these questions. But I do have a data set uh, from Green and Salkin, the 2014 book, uh, which is uh, entitled Using SPSS for Windows and Macintosh, the seventh edition. Uh, it's a very useful data set and it only has four variables Enter 40, uh, Occupation 40, Enter 60, and Occupation 60. Uh, well, basically, the labels are uh, here, as you can see, interpersonal life stress at age 40 is basically the definition of this title and so on and so forth. So in the first analysis I'm going to show you how to compare uh, interpersonal life stress at age 40. That's uh, pretty much like one of the pretests I mentioned before uh, because this is testing at point one and then interpersonal life stress at age 60 that is testing at point two that that is uh, that corresponds uh, with a kind of post test if you are an English teacher and you want to uh, administer the same uh, you want to run the same kind of analysis so for this analysis you as I have already mentioned before you have to first uh, look into descriptive statistics and look at the measures of dispersion and central tendency uh, skewness and kurtosis for sure and and figure out whether your sample is normally distributed and let's say your you have evidence that your sample is normal distributed so you're gonna go th uh, down the menu and find uh, compare means and here uh, a paired sample t-test alright this window pops up but what you need to do is just to match those variables properly so incorrect comparisons will not be made. Interpersonal life at f age 40, I'm gonna just drop it in, in, in this cell, against interpersonal life stress at age 60. And if you're interested to find out the occupational life stress at age 40 versus uh, the same variable but at age 60, you can also do the same analysis. For options, I just leave everything as I mentioned, uh, as is. As I mentioned in, in another video, uh, the confidence interval percentage, which is 95%, uh, is analogous to the alpha level of 0 0.05. If you want to change this, uh, and make your alpha level more more stringent for example to uh, the level equal to 0 0.01 you can change 95 to let's say 99 and that 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 just uh, you know 
applies the change that you have in mind but for this presentation I'm just gonna focus on 95 percent of confidence interval percentage and I click continue I don't want to do bootstrapping actually I'm gonna uh, do another video on bootstrapping and its uh, advantages so I'm gonna just click OK there you are first of all uh, we have uh, paired sample statistics we've got mean scores interpersonal uh, life stress uh, uh, for, for interpersonal life stress at age 40 and then at, at age 60 as you see that there is a kind of uh, uh, um, change from 78.20 to 75 which is actually a, a kind of decrease in the mean now we also have occupational uh, um, life stress uh, in at, at the age of 40 and at the age of 60. Uh, obviously, those when you're younger, according to this data, uh, you have a lot more stress than uh, when you get older. Um, so uh, the sample size is 45. It's not uh, very big, I should say, but still pretty good enough for us to run uh, uh, kind of good. Um, and reliable analysis and here are the standard deviations obviously the standard deviations are not the same they're not even close to each other so that's one of the things that you need to consider now is there any correlation between the, the measures the correlation between the two interpersonal variables is, is uh, uh, 0 0.974 which is statistically significant and the other uh, by contrast the interpersonal variable has no significant correlation and it's it's kind of uh, you know telling because uh, it's kind of obvious because you can look at the mean scores uh, between um, the differences between the mean scores uh, of occupational life stress at 40 and 60 you can see that they're uh, pretty far away from each other uh, so th that's the first part of this the windows that oh, you can easily just really interpret but the second part is uh, the main uh, uh, you know the result of the, the main statistical analysis this paired sample t-test I think the, f the first thing that you will need to look at is really this sig which is a p-value the p-value I'm going to double click on this so it will pop up it's easier to interpret this way uh, the p-value is 0.131 and it's way above the alpha value of uh, 0 0.05 or even 0 0.01 definitely this is not significant therefore there is no significant difference between interpersonal life stress at age 40 versus the same variable at age 60 and the t-value is also pretty small but the t-value is pretty large here uh, which indicates that there is a higher likelihood that our significant significance uh, level would be uh, or the p-value would also be uh, you know would also be uh, significant therefore as you can see and as, as I uh, put the mouse on this value you can see the exact value which is which is in scientific notation it's very very small and we have strong evidence here that there is a significant difference between the occupational life st uh, life stress at age 40 versus the same variable at age 60 okay so far we have evidence that uh, one uh, one pair of variables the pair here let me just uh, draw this line oh no uh, sorry I'm gonna draw a box here like this table is better uh, right so we have we have evidence that well this this variable is significantly different across ages now what I would like to continue to do is to uh, is to estimate the effect size as I mentioned in another video uh, effect size is the measure of the magnitude and for paired sample t-test uh, SPSS does not automatically calculate it uh, so um, I'm gonna calculate it uh, using an online platform 